I'm in Tzvi. Today you put on your Tfilin, Mirz Hashem, for the rest of your life. A very long life, Be'ez Hashem. Aaron Tzvi is uh, my first Enikel to be named after my, my father, Aaron Tzvi Weiss. And you should know that your El Zeda, my father, wore Tfilin in Auschwitz. I have the Tfilin that he wore in Auschwitz in my possession. So he was Meiser Nefesh to wear tefillin. So in your DNA is a very powerful Mesiris Nefesh for tefillin. I'll also tell you that the tefillin, the parshiyos that you're wearing, those were the second parshiyos that I wore uh, when I wanted to upgrade my tefillin. I uh, went to Rabbi Lazarus in Staten Island. He's not alive anymore. His menuchah should be recovered. He was a very, 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 very chosh of a He would He would sit in his farm store and not do much business, but continue to finish shas over and over again. And he had told me that he received from a cipher in Eretz Yisrael a very chosh of a pair of parashiyas. And those are the parashiyas that you're wearing. As you start wearing your tefillin, it's really, really worth it to remember the story of the Vilna Gain. What happened was, is the Vilna Gain had a, a minion in his house, and he was davening in an inner room, and some hoodlums, broke into the house and the whole oilam was frightened and they were threatening people harm and the guy heard about it and he came out with his talus and tefillin and they took one look at the guy wearing his tefillin and they all ran away. So they asked the guy that why is it they were also wearing tefillin? Why didn't they run away from their tefillin? So the guy said that it says in the Gemara, Kalamaniach tefillin biroishai. It doesn't say al roishai. It says biroishai. You don't just put tefillin on your head. You put tefillin in your head. And today when you start wearing tefillin, it's a good, somebody said, oh, you put on tefillin today? Putting on tefillin is not the mitzvah. Although the brach is on niach tefillin. But as the guy said, the main thing is to get the message in your head. Not on your head. It's an intellectual exercise. The Chidush Arim famously said that if you have old tzitzis, so some people use it as bookmarks for their svarim, but if you have to throw them away, you put them in a separate bag and you could throw them away because they're tashmishe mitzvah. But if chas v'sham, somebody has to, no, chas if the, the mantle of the tefillin gets old, you got to get a new bag. So the bag is a Tashmishe Kedusha. As a Tashmishe Kedusha, it's Tan Geniza. He said, if that's true, the bag that you put tefillin in, if you put in your mind the lessons of the tefillin, then you become a Tashmishe Kedusha. You become holy. The message of the tefillin is first of all to remember the Zraya Natuya. The Zraya Natuya is the Dvar Aaron Hashem Yimkim Dama. He says the Zraya Natuya is the Hereg of Makas Bechiris. 
Rav Chaim Kanievsky says the Zerai Natuya is when the waves beat down on Claudius on the Mitzvah in uh, the Yamsuf, it felt like swords. It says that's what the Zerai Natuya is. It says Zerai Natuya is Ucherev. You're supposed to remember, like Rav Vigner Miller said, the message of Laman Tia Torah Hashem Beficha. I better learn Torah today. It's a reminder. You have to hear the Tefillin talking. It's a reminder. Laman Tia Torah Hashem Beficha. Even if it's a Bein Azmanim, even if it's an off day, Laman Tia Torah Hashem Beficha. It's a reminder. L'shabed bezet taivus u'machshavus libeinu l'avidos ha'ishimai. Connected the heart that the taivus and our machshavus, our desires should be what Hashem wants. Our heart shouldn't hate anybody. Our heart shouldn't be jealous about anybody. And then, the ismashich alai liyo ischayim aruchim. The tefillin is a big segula for life. Like the Gemara says in Menachas, Vashem Aleim Yichyu. The tefillin actually help you to curb your tithes. It's a great thing. And I want to tell you that you never had anything like tefillin. Never had anything like tefillin. Imagine if Saba came in and told you that he needs you, somebody gave him a 10 carat diamond. It's worth $60,000. He needs you to watch it for 10 minutes. 10 carat diamond. You'd hold that diamond and, and you'll never take it off your mind. You can't get distracted. You might drop it. Somebody might take it. When you wear tefillin, it says that when you wear tefillin, you're not supposed to be masiach das. You're not supposed to be distracted from wearing the tefillin. That's how hush of the tefillin is. You can't go and wear the tefillin and talk to somebody about something and forget that you're wearing tefillin. That's why it says constantly a person should feel the tefillin, not to forget that they're wearing tefillin. It's, it's an amazing thing. And in order to get to school, why is it? Think about it. You did so many mitzvahs from when you were six or seven years old. You have wonderful parents, David and Devorah, wonderful Zayda and Menashe Rosenberg, and your Bobby Leah, Saba and my mother, myself and Mimlibi Allah Shalom and Mahavd Ben Chaim Lachaim, Shashi, Safta. The why is it that you didn't start putting on tefillin at seven? Mm, Yosef is already shaking little of an esrik. A long time already. Why didn't you put on tefillin? What, what's going on? Tefillin is special because you have to have a goof noki. Have a clean body. That means you have to make sure your body is clean when you put on tefillin. You have to be mature for that. You're mature. But that's an obligation all your life. And I'll conclude with what I heard from my Rebbe, Ramesha. One time, I was sitting in the base of Medrash early in the morning, and it was an empty base of Medrash, and Ramesha calls to me, Vos meint kasherim lovaveinu. What does it mean, like in our hearts? And I'll tell you the truth, I didn't know what he was talking about. I wish I had no clue. So again he said to me, and he would never embarrass a fly. But Tema was pushed. He said, Vos main kashem So then he opened up the siddha for me, and he showed me that before we put on our tefillin, it says, V'yanichenu l'avoy des Hashem kasher im l'vaveinu. So he asked me, are our hearts so great that we ask Hashem that we should serve Him like it's in our heart? should say we should serve Hashem correctly. And he said that's a riot to what the Rambam said, that when we need somebody to agree to do something, 
where it says Luritsainai, we force him until he says, I want it. So the question is, that's not wanting it if we force him. The answer is, is that the Rambam says, our hearts want it. Because Elikim Bora es Adam Yosha. If we don't want it, it's because of the Yetzirah. So we force the Yetzahara out of him. You say, Hashem, please help me do your will like it's in my good heart. Please help me. I shouldn't succumb to the Yetzirahs that I see by the Goyim, by people that are not good. But what's in my heart? What's in my good heart? So in the name of Saba and Mami, Yezeda Menashe and Leia, myself and Safta, and of course, Daddy and Mami, Tati and Mami, David and Devora, you should be Zaychetake to wear your tefillin for a glorious long life and to be a pride to all of us and all of us together should gather such simchas. I'd be as Gil Tzedek, Bimher Viamena.